Okay. And not hit her. <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Amazing. S still never seen that movie. Mm, it's okay. You don't. I tried mean. to. I tried to. I t couldn't. I think got thirty minutes in, and I was like, oh, I'm done. I think, I <laughs> I think the thing is that like I had a friend that wanted to take me off to a to a theater that did like a monthly screening of it. Jesus. Like, just, just what? As, as a group. <laughs> to celebrate its awfulness. Like, everybody brought spoons and threw it at the, at the screen. It was apparently a big thing. What? Except nice. for, like, the, the one the one period when we actually wanted to go and look at it. Oops, I'm on an intermission screen. Um, that was when, like, they decided we're not going to do it every month anymore. We're going to do it every, like, third month. And then what? a year later, they went back to every month, and we're like, we don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> wait, wait, a movie theater is screening it every month? It was not a particularly oh. like profit pushed theater it was more like an, an old sort of cultural place that did it as a m more so as like just a thing for university students to go and have fun at what the although people went every month <laughs> wow they have their cult following I wouldn't go. Oh, 2042 te teasers. No wonder you're excited about that. What? 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 Battlefield 2042. The fuck are you talking about? Oh, it's about? officially in the future? Wait, what? what is this? Oh, Ooh. I didn't know that was a thing. I still don't know if that's a thing. What are you talking about? Battlefield. Battlefield. New game. Okay. Now I'm on board, and I, and I can safely check out. <laughs> That's what the blue thing you're talking about. <clears throat> That's kind of cool. He's a tragedy and poor a music. What? Yes, well, let's go. I, what was that whispering? I haven't had any of the very hot coffee next to me yet, so I'm just like two seconds behind everything. In Bro. trying trying to process it. Trying to process it. <sighs> <laughs> what did we say to me? <laughs> <laughs> Ohio. Gozaimasu. Nice. Duty. Duty. Give me some tunes. The Japanese speak day. Now nah, people just think they're being super clever. Yeah, but I, I just... want to speak in Japanese today. Yamete. <laughs> okay, say say uh say Oshiri ga itai. Oshiri ga itai. No, Oshiri, Oshiri ga itai. Oshiri ga itai. Oshiri. Perfect. Oshiri ga itai. Oshiri ga. Oh shit. Oshiri ga. Oh shit. Here we go again. Oshiri ga itai. All right. I'm sorry your butt hurt, Zach. Oh, Oshiri Gaitai. <laughs> Dude, now I understand why it took him so long to say it. He's having other problems. Would you, would you, would, would, you would, 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 would you, 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 could you, would you do anything you want? You're all crazy. We're not aiming for the truck. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, I don't get it. Is that some kind of deep cut? <laughs> A little bit. It's the worst joke I've ever seen. And it still makes me laugh. You know, you know, the Pixar? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. It's so bad. What is it? Tell us in excruciating detail. Explain the joke. Hmm. Make it funnier. Um, have you seen the, um, the movie Toy Story? Which one? There's like seven of them. It's the, the one, one where they're chasing the, the yeah. a truck. Uh, 
Okay. I get it now. Okay, now imagine the light and we're not going after the truck. And then... Imagine the, the toys are... Imagine the toys are jihadists instead. Bruh. It's pretty much... <laughs> the yeah, yeah. Best description I can give you. Buzz, we're gonna miss the truck. Okay, I'm you sorry. You probably yeah. Google... <clears throat> If you probably Google we're not aiming for the truck, you'll find it. I I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't need to know. <laughs> if it's a meme, I'm alright. I'll pass. But you we're not aiming for the meme. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. You love meme? That's funny. I will no, I will not I will not tolerate these attacks on my character. What character? Claiming that I love Ooh. meme. Oh! Jeez. <laughs> oh. oh. Fucking coming out here. In which game? You swing it. I finished the bun! I nice. think. Hog. Yeah, yeah. Bun. Okay. okay. Now the hat looks decent. So Yay! I'm worrying about it. Woohoo! You did it. That took so long. Ah, oh, yay! Was that the same hair you were working on, like, however long yeah, ago? Yeah, like two weeks yeah. ago. Yeah, yeah. Did Damn it, take that long. Uh, I'm. I wasn't very dedicated uh, with my yeah. work schedule, but yeah. Dedicated. <laughs> I could chat. So good. Ta -da! Dedicated. Honestly, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hey. Let me see. Nice. Now I'm me. <laughs> I did it. Y'all nice. need wow. to chill. Now to rig it. <laughs> I know, right? I have to add clothes, pose it, rig it. Uh, Buy it, use it, fix it, 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 melt, upgrade it. Yeah. Nice. It, twist it. Pull it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Technologic. Take it. <laughs> uh, I might add a few tufts and then call it call it a hair done or something. Okay. Hair do. Haha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. What the heck are these? Are you gonna do what? the anime thing where they have like a single strand of hair that like is... at the very top? <laughs> Yeah. Yes. That doesn't hey. look that that works. That's not just anime. It's like a cartoon thing. Disney does it a lot. Are you gonna do the anime thing where you have the one hair sticking mm. out of the top? <laughs> <laughs> she can be biting a piece of bread while she runs for school because she's late. Yes. Yes. <laughs> How else would I pose her? There it is. Yeah, there's there no go. other pose other than that one. Well, that's running, so you know you're just you're just sort of making a running pose. It's the only pose known to man. All With right. their arms behind their back. Yes. Flung you... backwards. <sighs> it's time for me to go. I'll okay. be All right. Bye. 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 Miss you. Bye, guys. Oh, it's ZBrush. Okay. Zed brush. Yes. Z brush. Zed brush. Zed brush. You're all. You like a real person of the world. Say Zed. Actually, do you call it Zed brush or is it still yeah. Z brush? No, it's no, Z brush. Because okay. everyone else calls it Z brush. Well, what, everybody do you else say, also like, calls Z it Z. Z brush. Do you say Zed for everything else? I uh, yeah. I usually say Zed. Got it. Um, Look, so Z Z Zbrush is a name. Yes. Sound better, Z. Thank you. That's why I say Z because it rhymes. Yeah. I, don't, I don't care what my I, country says. I agree says. that it, <laughs> it's better in the song with Z, but I think I say Z every other time. I've pretty much discarded all, 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 all of my Canadian Britishisms, except for the U's in words. <laughs> I, I still use those. U? Yeah, like color. U. Favor, they have a U in them. A lower. Uh. How lower? How lower? Lower. I switch R E for some reason, depending Three. on what it is. You do. 
What? Like th center and theater. It's oh, called theater oh, RE. I, I, I don't know what I do for those. It's, I kind of. No, just... I have. Yeah. Dude, Google I have this weird... just started changing to say recentre. Like it says recenter with an R E. Oh. Yeah, see, that's the, the. For me, the weird thing is, is that if it's like. If you're talking about like a town center, I will spell it like R E. But if I'm like the center of a circle, it's E R. I don't know if that's. Oh. I think that's just kind of a habit with whatever people learn to do. Because, like, I don't know if there's a, really any hard, fast rule anywhere. It's like, they both yeah. work with both ways. And it's supposed yeah, to be by a certain country, but, like, who the fucking... It's just... Whatever you saw for f four years while you were learning it, that's what you do for the rest of your life. Yeah. Yeah. Very true. Yeah, I think I'm RE most of the time. Hmm. Like, Wait, even with, like, do you guys spell favorite with a U or not? Favorite? Depends how happy I am about I do. the thing. No. I, I do favorite. because I, don't. I, I keep the U's. Okay, okay. But I don't. Favorite is a word. Like, favorite's not exactly my favorite word, so it kind of just goes by. Oh. Uh, I see you did there. Uh, what about I crayon? Think... What do you mean, what about crayon? crayon? What the crayon? fuck is there strange to spell about crayon? Go I think mean color. Well, it's more of a pronunciation thing. Do you crayon? say crayon? No. Uh, crayon. I see. Crayon. Do you say crayon? Cr like, Cr uh, crayon. Just, yeah, maybe I stress the O more. Crayon? Mm. What about immediately and immediately? I like oh, saying crayon. Immediately. Like mischievous and mischievous. I don't know. It's yeah. whatever the previous person said. Yeah, yeah pretty, <laughs> pretty much. The same with like scones and scones. Okay, I've never heard scones before. Never heard scones. I've never heard scones. No. Okay, that's the weird thing. I asked my dad about that, and I was because we were making scones, and he was he would always be like, uh, whenever he was enunciating it, like being funny about it, he'd be like, "Oh, we're making scones and stuff." But then in normal conversation, he'd call it scones, and I asked him, I was just like. Why do you keep changing it? And he didn't he didn't even realize that he was doing that. I was like, so what's the correct pronunciation? He was like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so So yeah, my for whatever reason my dad pronounces scones and scones the, just like interchangeably. I've like, never he, heard of scones. I've never heard that either. The scones. It's like a it's kind of like well, a you know what scones but, are? I've I don't, never yeah. heard of the I've never oh, heard of but scones. you've never heard Oh yeah. yeah I've yeah. never heard of that pronunciation of it. Yeah, I've never so, heard yeah, of us. I've never heard of the the thing. What what the fuck is a scone? It's it's bread, right? It, yeah, it's like a baked yeah. bread. Okay. Yeah. Good. Why do They're they call really it a scone? Because I I thought for years that it was an ice cream cone. Oh. Or some kind oh. of dessert. <laughs> well, I think that is how some people say like, let's get some scones, right? Like some ice cream cone. Like, uh, what's the guy from King of the Hill? Fucking Dale. Boomhauer. Dale. Sounds like he would, sounds like how Dale would say that. I think it's just because of the inflection you put on it. And you can do that well, with yeah. anything. Do it, dude. Give me a give me a Dale inflection. I'm trying to think of what to say. Did I? <laughs> Trump's still president. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, he went southern. That was good. That's Dale. Dale is so. Where's my smokes? I <laughs> no, I just, uh, it, the, the funniest thing you can do for internet comments, like hateful internet comments, is to just read them in Dale's voice, and then they're, then they're good again. Yeah. <laughs> they put trackers in the vaccine. <laughs> oh, <no>. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You can't put that in my hands. I'm not. I'm not letting the government figure out what I'm doing on my days off. <laughs> I know too many people who think that for real. Yeah. Oh, free Idaho. <laughs> free Idaho. Free Idaho. <laughs> Existential crying. <laughs> Talk to strangers very often. 
It depends. Do you mean like the cashiers? Then yes. If you mean just like a normal everyday passing, not really. Depends uh, on where you are. Because up here. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. I was gonna say because like if you're waiting in a queue, do people talk to you? Some. Depends I... on your lo Depends on your area. Okay. Okay. Like okay. up, like yeah. where, up, uh, where I am, absolutely. Ah. All right. All right. Cool. Cool. For California, I think it kind of depends on the situation. Like, if something's like, there's like a commotion going on in, in the front of the line, and they finally leave, people just kind of go like, "Oh, well, that's fucking weird, wasn't it?" Kind of thing. And then, yeah. yeah. But like, <laughs> something has to happen to trigger it. Some, you yeah. know, the line yeah. taking too long, fucking someone dropping something, writing yeah, out yeah. a check, paying with pennies. Uh, but de definitely, like, you know, like, ca cashier is definitely, like, still kind of like, oh, how's your day, and things like that. And uh, all right, all right. I, I think it's weird, because I think there's a lot of people that don't like it, but I guess everyone's just so conditioned to be like, oh, you know, it's okay. But, like, yeah. everybody says the same thing, so. <laughs> it, it, is seen, it is seen as, like, a Being social, polite. like. It is seen it, like, like if you give like if someone asks you like you're doing okay and you don't give the okay or like an equivalent there will be like I'm not having that good of a day. That seems like a social food bar. Like people don't like it when you like actually tell them the truth. Cool. Well, yeah, uh, that, 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 yeah. that always bothered me because whenever anybody asks me that, mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I'm answering. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't want an answer. You don't want a real answer. Don't ask the fucking question. Give me my. I agree thoughts. with that. I don't. Here's your fucking food and get out. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've no, heard I agree in, with that, like, actually. I think I've heard that East Coast is not as uh, talkative, though. <laughs> yeah, that's Like, true. depending where you are. Like, I think Jersey's very much kind of like, what do you want? I want this. All right, get out. <laughs> All right, not well, giving it to you. But get out. <laughs> or like, Here's your Please. shit. All right, now get out, kind of thing. But like, I don't. But I mean, that could be, that could vary from like place to place, like Matt said. So, yeah, I think in England it rarely happens. Like the, like the person at the till doesn't really talk to you. They kind of just scan your stuff. And then be like, all right, that's five pounds. And you're like, all right. Yeah. And then they'll just be like, have a nice day. And you're like, thank you. And then you go. Can you tell me what the fuck I've also, I've also heard that it's in some parts of like Europe, it's actually impolite to say like, have a nice day. Cause like, you're telling them to do that. Really? What, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So is that for real or is that a joke? Yes. That's, that's for real. Cause that sounds more like a joke. <laughs> I mean,. It depends on, like, I'm guessing, like, if it's through a different language, then it's going to be, you know, a different connotation or whatever. But yeah, there's some places where it's like, you don't tell people to have a nice day. Oh, I see, I see. Hope your day yeah. isn't fucked, friend. <laughs> yeah. It's all right, buddy. Fucked. Thanks for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, my day's been fucked since I got out of bed. It's because of you. It's your fault! Ah. I think the most orders. common thing that I'd talk to strangers about would just be the weather. It's very, it's just so <laughs> common. Yeah, like, yeah if, if I'm talking about the cashier, uh, to the cashier about anything, it'd be like, oh, it's so nice today, or, oh, it's raining today. But that's yeah. like yeah. every day for you guys, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that sounds like the dream summer. over here. Is it really hot? I mean, I can understand no, if I'm just a redhead that can't handle the sun. <laughs> so uh, uh, uh. I can understand if you guys, if you're like talking about the sunlight, though, because like, yeah, I get that. You guys don't hardly get any of that. It's like yeah. we get a oh, week really of it this week. Oh my oh, gosh! Sun and 
I can't handle it. I'm so weak. <laughs> I have like the that's why the fan is on me right now. It's only like 23 degrees. So I'm like, oh my god. I feel it's like it's too hot. That's totally, below freezing. It's it's totally. Oh, degrees Celsius. Sorry. A crap. <laughs> a real the real yeah. temperature. Because right right it was it can rain for an entire day over in Japan or it can be sunny, and it can be cloudy and still hot. It was like oh, yeah, it was yeah. like 10 p.m. last night. No sun. The window was open. I had my AC off. It's just like I'm just chilling. It's good. And over the course of an hour, I'm like I'm sweating now. Why is this a thing? <laughs> whoa, whoa, yeah. whoa. Okay, what? well that was weird. Uh, I turned my head too fast and I got like vertigo for just a second. Ooh. That happens. Dude. Be careful. Yeah. Well, it's because I'm like looking back and forth between like my screens and just rotated too quickly. Dude, Henry, you know I have Vertigo, dude. You do? Like the yeah. movie or like just the, the symptoms? Yeah, I the got the illness. DVD box set. It's great. You want to watch it sometime? <laughs> yes, please. I'll stream it. <laughs> do, you have, or do you have Vertigo right now? Not at this moment. I don't know how to word it. How do you say that? Like, I, ha I have had... You've like, experienced vertigo. it? Yeah. I have had vertigo. Fucking awful, dude. That's one of those things where, like, when you see it written down, it's like, this sentence is clearly wrong. But definitely people do say things like that. Like, tutu yes. or had had. It's just like, you read it and you're just like, well, that's clearly wrong. And you're like, oh, wait, but I definitely say that though so but that means mm. i'm clearly wrong and that can't be yeah, true right <sighs> <laughs> i am always right 100 percent of the time is it me that's wrong no it's definitely the children it's definitely the rest <laughs> of society like it's wrong when they do it because it looks wrong but i'm fine yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, evidently <laughs> lack of self-awareness is great it's the kids who are wrong Oh. oh my god. Alright, now we bake this stuff down. Drop the save. Bake me an animation <clears throat> as good. fast as you can. Sorry, an un re unrecoverable error has been encountered. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> when did you save? Please save. Please save. I think it'll it be says fine. it's I saving right now. Yeah. Talking about the weather the other day where I lived. I it was saved a clear like night two minutes ago. Lightning. Clear night and lightning? Was it was lightning coming out of a cloud somewhere far away, or was it just like ah oh, stars? The star has. The decided. stars are smiting me. Yeah, the star Bruh. has decided it wants to shoot energy today. You joke Zeus. about that, but that's why <laughs> California was on fire last year. Oh, um. It wasn't the Jewish space lasers. D thank you. I was gonna make the joke. <laughs> that is no. That's it. That that only happens in Georgia. Mm, no, that was that was what a congresswoman said happened. This is Georgia's fault. Damn Jews. Yes. <laughs> Please don't. Please I'm don't. Not. He can get in trouble on Twitch for say for having someone say that. Oh yes. yeah, I'm, I'm streaming right now. Sorry, Twitch. It was it was uh, it. satire. Didn't mean it. Poor taste joke. We immediately Ryan meant it. we immediately no. wow. gagged him. Ah. Wow. Womp womp. I was just thinking it's like there's two pigeons in um <clears throat> in bolt when it's like aliens. Like a yeah. Is that Steve? How you how are you Happy lads doing? Yes, it's Steve. Hello. Good evening. How's it Steve. going, my dude? What up, what up? Um, I'm doing good. And I hate nice. when people say my name like that. I sat next oh, to me for the NPC. Yeah, it's... Okay, I'll say Steve. Steve. I'll say Steve. Don't like Steve the monkey. It's like oh. when I sat at NPC, uh, 19. People, the girls around me, they would tease me by, like, quietly going, and I'm looking around thinking, are they actually saying it this time, or am I going crazy? Because they would oh. say-
Did my did my connection die? Whoop. I oh, want to give a, a different voice channel. Steve. Sorry. <clears throat> oh. I'm sorry. One of my fr right. friend, uh, one of my other friends, whose name is Steve, uh, Steve has like his, uh, um, his uh, icon as Steve the monkey for everything. So it is the best just, name. I mean, Henry's pretty. It's just damn ingrained Steve. in my head. It's pretty damn awesome. But Steve, mm. I love it. It's just that damn monkey, stupid damn monkey. Mm -hmm. So uh, don't say yeah. anything bad about Steve the monkey. It's after. Trust me, after you spend like three or four months looking over your shoulder, like after, like it wouldn't just have one thing, Steve, and look back at it once. This Steve happened for weeks and then. Steve the monkey so, uh... is a saint, sir. <laughs> and it, it's not my fault if I happen to like gummy bears, um, and I'm walking along and I pass them at that time. I'm like, this is a pure coincidence, I swear it. So, uh, yeah. Gummy bears Curse them. Hey, I'm very good. Um, yeah. Got some hair uh, You can't. Wait, are you talking about Top I mean, the. I'm completely lost. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on. I need Welcome to, be... to that club. The, the monkey oh. from uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh. I haven't seen that movie in like 10 years. Same. No. This <laughs> is. The first one's really good. The yeah, second okay. one is. It's... Hmm. <clears throat> but yeah, the first one's really good. <laughs> so, Henry, how's this week going for you? Struggling, kind of, maybe? I'm not quite dude, sure. Dude, you've been making insane progress, dude. It is true. I, I got up to 13 seconds, so I hit the minimum <clears throat> requirement for the class, at least. And. Cool. When Tyler gave me feedback, it wasn't like completely littered with like notes so that's good nice did he, I don't did know he give if... you an inclination of whether you're gonna pass etc no i don't think i don't think tyler is gonna do anything like that i mean uh over the weekend he sent the entire class an email saying like hey so a bunch of you are way behind and um most likely I don't want to be like mean or anything, but I do have to kind of grade your s stuff like impartially. So, you know, it might so be mean. in some of your in some of your best interests. You might need to think about like retaking. Yeah, but I mean, he wasn't addressing like anybody in particular. It was just like the class. But I mean, to be fair, if you didn't know that before the email, you're kind of fucked. Like. <laughs> It's it was very all it's very obvious that there's quite a few people in the class that uh, aren't really quite it is, there. You it know, it isn't. It isn't because like you you put so much of your heart into a piece, suddenly yeah. you get like beer goggles and think you've got the best piece ever. Um, but the good news is, if you nail <clears throat> this course, uh, class four, it sets up your um. It sets you up perfectly moving forward. What is that sound? Is that... Sorry, it's that... my fan. It's my fan. Sorry. Ah. Or if, you... if, if you need a fan, go fiaul! There you go. <laughs> go fiaul, you can do it. I don't know cheer. I need to work on my cheers. So, um... Yeah. Um... Yeah, I mean, if you, if you can get on top of that course, even if you have to redo it, I mean... A 16 second piece is enough to be a solid demo reel piece um so yeah um you could you could get what i'm saying is that 16 seconds could be your demo reel if done well so it, it is a it is an important class and it yeah. was yeah yeah it was cost it's looking it, amazing is, is it done with the block characters uh not necessarily since this year was the first time they allowed the people in class four to use the advanced okay. rigs which i think it was a bit of a mistake up until now then it was done with the block rigs I yeah guess pretty much what i i hear i hear what steve what steven's saying i don't know if i've ever if i've seen many 
graduating reels that highlight that block animation. Like, I feel like the stuff you get out of the later classes is just a better showcase. Yeah. I, but, I was in a position, I, mean, I showed, um, so last year there yeah. was a, I don't know whether it's Lightbox or one of the other festivals, but um, who is the uh, animal supervisor for Tangled? Um, oh, what's his damn name? I forget it. Um, two seconds, I'll look it up. Uh, Tangled, um, Anim Supervisor. The story's going somewhere, bear with me. Um, uh, where are we? Richard Casablanca. That's not their name. He was, he was a director for Angry Birds. Oh. Um, ang not Angry Directors. Oh, Clay, Clay Katus. Um, so he looked at my piece, and he laughed, and it, thankfully it's a funny piece, but he said, do you realise how rare it is to make him laugh watching an animation? Um, and he goes, right, if I saw this, like, I would expect you to be applying for uh, Disney's internship programme, and getting there. Um, crap, I'm not American, um, but these pieces can turn eyes. I like. I have no idea how it got to be mine. It was like 40, 50 hours a week um, pushing, etc. And I got very, 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 very lucky on the idea that it came together. But yeah, it can make an impact. Um, I was very, very, very lucky. And Kevin Shorey, Kevin Shorey played a big role in mine. Um, I love that dude so much. Um, but yeah, these pieces can make an impact if, if done well. Um, I'm not saying mine's the, mine's the best one done. Freaking um, Carlos is from my class. Kicked ass. His freaking um, <coughs> beef one was so great, and so were so many others in my class. They were all amazing. Um, but yeah, I, I made I managed to make Clay keep this laugh, which was uh, yeah, so, so nice. Nice. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... I'm just kind of trucking along, really. Yeah. It's a lot of work. It's a freaking lot of animation. Yeah. And the inertia just doesn't stop. Um, like the energy that can't stop for like 16 seconds, and then it needs its <clears> rhythms <throat> and its textures, and every pose needs to be great. It's so much freaking. It was painful. It was so painful. Um, but it gets there. And Hem, I think Matt's already said, uh, your work, or Zach's already said, uh, that is your work has flown this week and made such a big jump forward. So uh, who knows where it'll be for the weekend? Yeah, so, we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah. I mean, this week's the last week I get polished notes and then it's due in a week, so. Um, it's due in a week. Have, isn't there one last class one well, last week after that, where um, nope. this general reviews. Nope. <laughs> this is this is so this mu this term general reviews and your class finishing the same week. I guess so. Uh, next, yeah, next next Monday he wants it turned in, and then cool. by Wednesday so next he'll Monday... be saying whether or not we're probably gonna flash or not. So absolutely, but either way, after Monday, I think you still got. So that's that's a handy. You can't do anything past that. But a note, I think you've still got uh, Scott Gupp in the evening, um, Eric on the Tuesday evening. Go with the hands. If you don't get a, if nobody, if somebody hasn't been to our hands, can't remember his surname, but he's phenomenal. Like, go with the hands. Hands is just, he's incredible. So if you haven't been to him yet, go on the Tuesday morning and he'll give you amazing notes. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm saying is, and sorry my voice, I'm just coming from work and my, my mouth is yapping. But yeah, take advantage of the um, general reviews next week, uh, regardless of how your animation looks, so that you can then finish it off between the classes. If, if they pass you, finish it off before you start your next one. Get this out where you never want to look back. Um, if, if you don't, then you get notes on how to improve. So um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Fingers crossed. Sorry, I said I'll stop yapping now. My, my, I get excited and I get on one, and yeah. Uh, so, no worries. Cool. 
Do you know how many more weeks of general reviews there are left? I, I think like... next week might be the last one, but Henry's <gasps> going to know better than me. Really? Uh, seems like, yeah, next week's the last general oh review. God. Ah! This time has gone by really fast for me. Uh, so for you, seems like the 17th. Okay. It's the last uh, model rig review. I gotta remember that. With Danielle. At 7 a.m. That's so painful. <laughs> but then, yeah, it was, um,. That's yeah, it's for me. Yeah, it's, uh, you're all good. Yeah. I'm not saying like Fiao's not the coolest name ever, but is it Fiona or is it Fiao's or what is uh, a? Call me Fia. Fia, cool, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cool. So, yeah. Um, you, how is the? Are you modeling now? Are you rigging now? What, what's the? Oh uh... uh, yeah, I'm just sculpting <clears throat> right now. Cool. Just merging what? everything together. What is it you're making? Um, I'm doing a commission for somebody. So okay. I'm just doing a, a, a sculpt that they wanted me to do for them. Which is very Definitely. cool. Is it a is it a character or is it an environment or um... Yeah, it's a character. Cool. I don't know if the, the stream is still live, but yeah. Yeah, it is, but I'm not looking at your stuff, so you can show off. Oh, no, no, no worries, no worries. Just checking. Yeah, I go, oh, from, okay. I go from when I wake up until one and a half hours from now. Like, that's that's when my workday starts, and I'm at home, so I can stream right until, like, right up until the day starts. This is really good. <clears throat> I just clicked a, new, uh, clicked a new stream. It's, uh, it is really good. Thank you. Can't model, I know, um, how difficulties, etc. But the appeal is definitely there. So, Thank uh, you. Yeah. That's always nice to hear. <laughs> oh, I think I like that. I think that'll work. Is this Ryan's or is this is this Fears? I'm looking at a lady uh, with blonde hair. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm on yeah. Twitch. I'm not streaming on Discord. Like, you've, you've got to be on a different website to see mine. So are they going to then big it, or what's their plans? Uh, I think they said that they wanted to maybe 3D print it, and then also, yeah, get someone to do topology. Because I, I haven't learned um, proper animation topology yet. I'm gonna learn that next term, which I'm really excited for. Um, so I think what they're gonna do is they're gonna find someone else who can give it the right topology and then, yeah, rig it for animation. Right, now now I know what standard, um, what standard <coughs> you are, and it's high. This is, a uh, yeah, this is super. So, Aw, uh... thank you. <laughs> I'm yeah, really hello. slow. I gotta, and I haven't done that much yet, so I need to, like, um, what's it called? Like, increase my mileage? I guess yeah, but that comes with experience. You'll be doing the same thing over and over again, and then it'll just come natural. Um, yeah. I was helping somebody a few weeks ago just doing a pose, like a facial pose, and I did it in like 10 minutes. You're like, this took me hours. Simply, you're moving the same controls over and over again every time. This thing, as I said, you might spend hours, weeks on it, and then, yeah, after after a few months, you'll be uh, knocking that time straight down. What's important right now is making it look damn appealing, and it does. It looks great. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I've seen so many models where like the anatomy is just like, uh, I don't know, this looks great. Oh, thank you. I definitely want to find like some anatomy courses to do because I I have I think like a very basic understanding of like this looks good and this doesn't look good but mm. it'd be nice to actually study it properly definitely you've got the Proco of course which you I'm sure you've heard of um, Avon Blaze 
Um, I'm not sure about his his teaching style. He's a watch me do it and copy kind of teaching style. Um, but he's got an anatomy course. Um, and not as an artist, he mm-hmm. is amazing, and he's so 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 fast. Oh and yeah, he's yeah. So, so funny. He's just yeah. He's one of my favourite like idols. Um, his teaching thing. I'm not sure whether his teaching style is for me. Um, but yeah, there's Poco, there's this, uh, there's a few resources on the animation, sorry, Anim School website, uh, Michael Mer- Hazy? Oh yeah, Mer- um, Hazy. I've been really meaning to um, watch all of those classes. Um, and then on a Friday, I think there's a YouTube um, thing that he, he does every, <laughs> every week, um, which includes oh, cool. submissions. Anim School and him are a great friendship, so I wouldn't be surprised if he maybe comes back next term and okay. um, or the one after. Um, I really hope so. That'd be cool. Is one of you singing? One of the lads. No. <laughs> Let's have a karaoke sesh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all play different songs and sing. Yeah, you got uh, I'll, I'll join in in a bit. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta go. I Goodbye. Gonna... Sorry. Oh, Bye. No. Bye. 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 Small finger curl or a breath. All right, <clears throat> I can do something here. Let's give this another play blast and see how see how this feels. How are you doing, Mr. Matt? Doing good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. Um, Yeah. Another day down. Heck yeah, I like that. And Montreal is not in Red Zone anymore. It's like... Oh, dude, nice. It brings tears to your eyes. We considered Orange finally. So, uh, yeah. Over the last... We can go to a restaurant and sit with two people. Dude, over the, the last week, I had like a normal day where I went to um, like a comic book shop over here and like everyone there was vaccinated. I'm like, I don't have to like wear a mask. It just felt really, uh, felt like a normal day. It was really how, strange. How did you know that everyone there had a, had a vaccine? Um, it was all of the employees there and there was a sign that said that all the employees were vaccinated. And I know the owner, and he's like, like it's a small like local place, and the owner's like a cool, like a really good guy. So if he says that oh. they're vaccinated, they're vaccinated. So. Shit, that actually reminds me. Um, so I guess my cousin uh, from my mom's side, she mm-hmm. got uh, COVID. Oh shit. She was. Uh, she had to go to the hospital because she couldn't breathe. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. When did this happen? Uh, I guess it must have been over the weekend. I, I mean, she must be fine enough because she made she took like a Instagram selfie kind of like story thing. I mean, I was like, Jesus, but like, I wish her the yeah. best, man. Keep us updated. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure she'll be okay, but like, yeah, that was yeah. definitely kind of like, oh, scary. What? <laughs> My sister had it, and then uh, I know a friend of mine who's an animator. His father unfortunately passed. So his father would have been in his 40s or 50s. Mm-hmm. Um, really young chap. Um, but yeah, it's just horrific. Like it doesn't feel like it's on your doorstep, that it really is. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we, I, uh, my family and I were very fortunate. My both my parents are getting up there in age, and my dad's been suffering through medical stuff, and we managed to completely in, like miss it. Shut down. Definitely. So. That's rough. So far, my yeah. family's been pretty good, but uh, Dad is becoming an anti-vaxxer, which is just great to see in real time. That's what I'm <laughs> like, uh, uh, what? I swear I've seen a comedian do a uh, since sometimes. I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. But yeah, at some point in life, you, you get to a certain age where some of, your opin- some of the opinions of your parents are like, why are you being such an? Why are you being an idiot? Like, what, what's wrong with you? You're, I've yeah. respected you for like the last 18, 20 years. Like you were, Robert, you were yeah. a god to me. And, now... and then, and then you realize that oh, they were wrong, just like everyone else. Got it. 
<laughs> no, it's it, it's not just realizing they were wrong. It's like, I I I literally know you. You yeah. introduced me to Colbert and The Daily Show, and now you're te- you're saying Tucker Carlson stuff at me. What happened, Ruby. Dad? <laughs> <laughs> be questioning everything in the world. Does this world world make sense anymore? Like, what's happening? What do I believe? I've been in the fortunate, unfortunate position that my parents have always been in that Tucker Carlson lane. So it's been just like, all right, I expect it. I don't know who this person is. Oh, he's just um, one of the biggest pieces of shit eating shit in America right now, and he's got one of the most um, highly regarded he's... shows. He's a, a conservative uh, talk show pundit on Fox News. He's incredibly he's... racist. He <laughs> says he's not racist, but like neo-Nazis and white supremacists say that they watch his show once for fun and then once to study it. Like, he's incredibly yeah. racist. Um, we still allow him on TV. Oh yeah, he's because the celebrated brings, brings... on TV. He brings in a lot of money. Um, Negativity always does. Um, yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, there's there's some people like that out there. Yeah, sorry, sorry, um, not sorry, Twitch chat. I don't hide from politics, and you all know I'm a very strongly opinionated person. Yeah. How is the job hunt going for you, Matt? Um, I might have something lined up. Who well, knows? And what uh, stage is a might? Is this a might? Is then you just started speaking to those people? Or, uh... It's it's. Um, I had an interview last week. They've been asking yeah. about rates, and they said that they will get. I mean, expecting a job offer or rejection here in the next few days. That's very good so, stage to be. Rates. Mm-hmm. Does that mean it's a contract, like freelancer thing? Yep. Yep. All yep. Right. So yeah, rates is in. Um, is it a as he said, is it a short-term freelance gig, or is it a studio they, position? So they said um, that, I mean, grain of salt, uh, that it, it it would start off contract, short contract, one or two months, and then they'll take it from there depending <laughs> on like the projects they have. Cool, but it is a natural studio yeah. position, which is neat. Fantastic. I mean, a lot of yeah. projects. Um, there's a yeah. company, I'm Barry, I'm from Chicago. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. There's a project I'm considering at the moment. Um, it's only for three months, and I regret not accepting it in, um, in February time when I first got the offer for it, because it then extended it by another three months. And as soon as I did that, I'm like, that could have been six months of just. Oh. So, yeah, these contracts often start small. It's very rare yeah. to have, yeah. unless you're in the gaming industry, which you are. But in a, yeah. any other kind of industry, any game, <clears throat> if it's TV or VFX, it's usually be short contract, which get extended, or you move around the area. I, yeah, so yeah. You, my, so, my solo contract, Anime Studio, is renewing every month, which is short yeah. by everybody's standards, but, like, yeah. that's what they signed. And then I got into Studio No Border, and it's like, a year to start, and uh, maybe... We'll and, take it from there. Yeah, it'll just keep going. And I'm like, that's a long time to lock down, but it's like... No, because... Yeah. According to the contracts that I've read, it's like the year is guaranteed employment, but it's not like you're not allowed to quit before that time. But that's usually put into the contract. Like if if you can quit at any time or if you have to like pay a fine out or something if you leave early. Because that, w- that was specified yeah. in my current year-long contract. And I don't have anything. Is it, so. It's in my contract that if I leave before November, then I'll need to... Uh, <clears throat> um my permit costs out um mm-hmm. it's in many contracts but yeah um understandable to some degree um but yeah sh- short term short term is often it may it's weird though when like my sister for example she she was really stressed mm-hmm. about moving jobs in a financial industry and like i've i've had 11 jobs in the last six years 12 Dang. jobs in the last six years mm-hmm. and she's stressed about moving at once it's like get over it you'll be fine yeah. well, I mean, if, if they're not used to that if they're not in an industry like that then that's a stressful thing 
Like, we yeah, are used but... to it because it's what our job is. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah. And part, after, like, one or two months... Part of job is looking for a job. Yeah. After one or two months, kind of, you know, it's experienced people there. After one or two months, you're, like, you're part of the old crew. So, uh... I suppose. Yeah. One, yeah, once you get in the door, especially in, like, a short-term type of gig here, it's, like, at, at Sola, the people that... The, a lot of the people that they're hiring are like, yeah, I worked with this guy a while ago. He's from another studio. I know him from five years ago. I know him from seven years ago. I know this person from across. It's like, there's very few cold calls that are getting hired here. Yeah. <clears throat> I was wondering about this, but what? like jobs in the industry, guys talk about like negotiating your salary is that like mm -hmm. is that for like every job in the industry i've never negotiated i did um, there's did. an older friend that recently and he's like what the hell have you never negotiated i um, i did for the first time for this past job basically like i've for your first job or for your first like position in a new country or something because like I've, I've had a handful of jobs now it's like well, i mean i've had a shit ton of jobs in my life but after graduating first job is like this is the one that'll take me in my in my uh town so i'll just take it and then uh after i was hired my boss took me aside and she's like don't do that <laughs> you said at the table you'll take anything and we could have screwed you so don't do that next time and then my first job in japan my first paid job is like i need a visa so sure i'll take it but then at my current one the thinking is like most companies will budget in more than they offer. They're trying to lowball you. So if you don't ask, yeah. you're just leaving free cash there. And if they take away the offer because you come back and ask, probably a shitty company, probably dodging a bullet anyways. Yeah. It's also, basically, if you lowball yourself, that stress is on your shoulders, not theirs. Um, so, yeah. But if you... So my first few jobs in London, um, <clears throat> if you don't make a minimum of 25k in London, you're going to be struggling. Um, and yeah, I was, certainly was. Um, so yeah, and that stresses on your shoulders. Like you've already accepted like the amount you you are prepared to uh, to be on. So yeah. deal with it. Um, that, that's not me saying to you to deal with it, but yeah, that, that's often the uh, perspective I find. I've never negotiated, although I've asked for a salary up front and they've gave, and to my surprise, they've given it to me. Um, but it depends when, like, how many things, whether you really, really want the job as well, um, how much, how much risk you're willing to, willing to play. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I've been I've been fortunate with some of the salaries and I'm fortunate in my earlier ones. So uh, yeah, um, but negotiation is expected in the industry. Um, oh, also, okay. massive thing to uh, to probably Matt yourself and Hemi if Hemi's not worked in the industry yet is utilize LinkedIn. Uh, reach out to don't be afraid to reach out to recruiters. Um, mm -hmm. right. And yeah, that's that's unless you get you need to be going to festivals as well. Um, your um, there's British festivals um, and there's those in America. So respect you. Um, Can't wait until I yeah. until Japan starts holding their shit again. I want to go to Comic Con for fun, but also like that's where you meet your nerd friends. And there's got to be, there's like Tokyo Gaming Con, there's other stuff here. I need to get better at the language and then just go start meeting people. Be the weird foreigner, but like wearing my Luigi hat so I can like prove, hey, <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> is that your disguise? Hey guys, I'm like, one of you. <laughs> you take the hat off, they like, who is this guy? You put the hat back on, they like, well, he's cool. That has happened. That has happened to me in North America, back in Canada. Like, I had friends that started recognizing me by the hat. And if I showed up without it, they either didn't see me or they're like, where's your hat? I have a friend like that. So, 
I just, you and the like, hat are one. Yeah. It's true. I I need to get another one. Not not because I don't like this one, but as a backup. <laughs> because I have lost this for a day or two just in my backpack. My friend was recently ill in Montreal, and she asked me to grab some tablets for her, so I delivered it. But because Wait. she was ill, wait to um, do what? I grab some uh, pick up some pick up her prescription from the pharmacy. Oh, um, okay. I, I don't know why. Uh, yeah, okay. Just yeah. Like He's a, not drawing tablets, yeah. in you? Yeah, just like yeah. A, 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 a palette of, a palette of uh, MacBooks. Wacoms. Just, hey, I just need, I just need, I just need ten Wacoms. It's fine. Yeah. So, <laughs> gonna make it feel so much better. Um, so yeah, I I dropped them off to her, and she's grumpy because she's been ill. At the same time, it's the first time in two years I've ever seen her without a beanie hat. So I'm like. Who is this grumpy person? I just don't recognize you. So, uh, yeah. It's, um... um... Or get people who always wear... I can't grow a beard. <clears throat> um, I've tried, Me I either. always fail. But those who can and they shave them, you're like... You have such a gift! <laughs> <laughs> throwing it away! Must use it. But you use just don't recognize them once they've shaved. It's, um, you put probably, as you said, confused by them as well. So, why did you do that? I thought you were like, big, had it all figured out. I thought you were cool. <laughs> and then you got rid of your beard. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, LinkedIn is always going to be your, your friend in the industry. Um, Dude, I'm just so bad what? with social media. You need to get, yeah, yeah you need to get over that. Um, but uh, my um, my buddy, he's he's mentored me for a bit. <laughs> His biggest tips are always keep if you're speaking to a, a recruiter, keep it short, keep it simple. Uh, so you can probably send a three sentence um, message to them on LinkedIn, and that's enough. Um, if they're hiring and they've taken any time to uh, look at your work, you you can easily judge by how much they're interacting with you afterwards, how much interest is there. <laughs> Keep it polite, uh, be friendly, you always touch in base with them. But yeah, LinkedIn is your uh, is your friend. Um. How are you, Mr. David? David. We just got home. Just wanted to say hi, because I need to go hi. film some reference. Uh -huh. You've got another shot to do. Yeah. Uh, I'm aiming a little bit more ambitious, like you said, Steven, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> in, in one week to go? You've got like five days to go? Like, yeah, I'm going to squeeze another shot out. So, uh... Yeah, David didn't No, say no. <laughs> um, not for this class. Um, my teacher already told me that I don't need to worry about passing, that I'll be fine. So oh. I'm already planning the next class classes. I'm just in the idea phase right now, getting Which reference. Which class are you in at the moment? Class two. Class two. So class three is next. Who's your teacher going to be? Uh, John Luke. Never heard of him. Is that even a real name? That's right. Yeah. Two first names squeezed together. It, uh, am I saying it wrong? No, it's John Luke. Ah, uh, it's yeah, it's John Luke. He, he's in um, he's in Montreal with me. Um, he's the one that's helming the um Anim School TV show. Yeah, he's he's amazing. I've met him at CTN. I've, I've known his face for a while, but he's he lives in Montreal. Um, oh, yeah, one really, time really cool I player. talked to him, he fucking destroyed my shot so hard. I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's cool, man. That's a good thing. That's a really. Good it was thing. good. Well, it was it, it was it was at this weird spot because I was taking the um, character performance class, and I already talked to Manuel about switching to games, and so it was like I was just kind of like going through the paces of like learning, but not like. And doing like the best I can, but not like really stressing over it. And so it was like this weird phase of like, like I'm working on the shot. I'm just kind of going through the paces of like learning some stuff. And then it was like destroyed everything in the past like week that I've done. I'm like, all right, this is cool. <laughs> Good to meet you. I'm gonna. Yeah, right. Uh, uh... <laughs> no, he's he's a sweet guy. I I genuinely like talking to him, but it was just like. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, it's just, you should probably, like, focus this time on someone who's going to be more active in this than me right now. That's the thing, like, you, 
if, if they're going to put that much commitment into it, even if they're destroying you, they're giving you yeah. a lot of time and giving you honest feedback rather than going, looks nice. Um, yeah. yeah, I once paid somebody $100 to destroy my work. Um, and <laughs> he, uh, he didn't hold back. Um, but it, it was so nice when he did so. Um, it was $100 an hour for the teaching. And yeah, I had four sessions. And one of the sessions, I'm like, can you just destroy my portfolio and tell me what I need to learn? And he did not hold back in the slightest. Nice. Um, yeah, one of my favorite teachers, um, Mike Safanoff, he's a freaking genius. Um, yeah, he's, he's so, so, so cool. Um, but yeah, John, John Luke is, uh, is amazing. Really friendly, uh, funny. Um, creative, you'll, you'll love him. Um, Picard? Yes, Picard. <laughs> yes, yep, get it? Because John Luke Picard. I know, I know. Would have gone straight <laughs> in my head. Would have gone straight in my head. I'm sorry. Don't worry, Henry, we got the joke. I don't even watch Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> I know the name Picard, but I just didn't know that was his first name. Uh, so, um. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Don't sorry. ever change, please. I, I won't. Don't worry. We love you. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm gonna head off. We gotta go film that reference, though. See you bye. guys. Bye. Have a good one. Bye. David, bye, 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 David, bye. David, David, David. Oh, yeah, yeah, Before yeah. you do, yeah. Um, remember story. Yeah, this one actually... Well, no. Uh, this, uh, I wouldn't say it has story. More of, like, cool action. Does it have a beginning, middle, and end? Yeah, exactly. It needs a... And hopefully a great beginning, middle, and an end. Um, just makes sense and easy to connect to. Cool. Yep. Go. Go have fun. Okay. Okay. All right, Explore. I'll think about story. Practice. Experiment. Bye, bye, bye. Don't hurt you yourself. Just, That's the most important thing. Oh, wait. He just threw fight. himself. He just threw a wrench into his entire plan by saying you, that. You did. You really did. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. So, At this point, this is, right, this, he's gonna, this he's is gonna, the time knowing to think David. about fixing that stuff, and if he didn't have a story, then he needs to go fix it. No, no, no I mean, m most most likely David's gonna overthink it now because of it. Yeah. Yep. Um, but it's good that you're exposing him to that early, so... It, it, I mean, even in the basic exercises, they can, they can just a little beginning, middle, and an end can turn a simple shot into a into a demoville shot um because it gives the, the viewer something to look at um and it doesn't need to be able to complicate it so um but uh, regarding henry if you do hopefully 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 you pass uh, like if somehow you do have to repeat um i'm not against i'm not really uh? if you do have to repeat um <sighs> Go with Luke. Go with Luke Randall. He's freaking amazing. Oh, too late. I've I've signed up with this dude that uh, worked with Disney and Blizzard. So, <laughs> um, can I see your oh. shot, Henry? Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, like as it is right now, or what I just showed. Uh, person. Yes. What you just showed. Uh, here. I want to see your newest one. Okay. Whatever that well, means. That, that's the most newest one. It has some drawings over with Tyler, but that's I fine, haven't exported off. anything just yet. I'm going to ask you to uh, to shove, uh, to post me a little uh, yeah, thing I'm, as well, Lisa. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for you. There you are. Thank Dude, you, sir. Like, I feel like if... Dude, I feel like you're, you're really getting there. I hope so. <clears throat> Yup. Just gotta keep trucking along, but, uh, yeah, person, 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 person. Uh, I'm, I'd be taking it with June Song. Ooh. He seems like a pretty chill guy. It's almost there, buddy. Yeah, you could, uh, you could certainly go free with a... If you if you're the policist, I would I would layer, and you can get so much out of the uh, out of the bottom um, the bottom um, pelvis and legs etc. I think they could be tidied up a little bit. But at the same time, 
um yeah it's in a really really solid place like really really solid place yeah. um it's probably just the polishing as we think things up that needs to be done to it um i hope so because that's that's what tyler is saying that this that's yeah. what that's the only kind of critique he's going to be kind of giving this week or that's the kind of critiques he would like to be only giving us this week is this is this like are you going to add the last part or is this it i am trying i am okay moving. okay i'm just curious yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm slowly moving because that's only like another like two seconds. So I'm pretty sure I can do it. And after that, it's a lizard, and I mean, it's a lizard, do, and he's tiny. So it's you can, and you can just like literally do two blinks. Like you do not have to give that much life to him at all. Yeah, that's that's what I figure. That's what Tyler said as well. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna show Tyler what I'm made of. I can do it. But it's also, it's more for me, because I figure that, like, in the later classes, especially games, like, for the cinematic, I'm like, mm. I'm gonna have to do something about that long in about as short a time anyways, so I may as well, like, try to do it, you know? You're not moving this pillow anymore, are you? <clears throat> no, gave up on that, because that was oh. taking too much time. I would rotate it um, a little bit. Um, so rotate it screen left. So um, yeah, okay, just twist we, it more towards him. What are we looking at here? You guys are talking for a while. I want to see. Oh, okay. That's that's a thing. Because he, he gets like one seven five, and there seems to be this big off like big offset between like is he actually in terms of the pose and angle he's at, I would expect that pillar to be more rotated towards him. Um, and even the beginning of the part of the animation could uh, could benefit from it. It mm. wouldn't. It wouldn't. This one seven five definitely needs it, but the earlier part of the animation wouldn't suffer from rotating that pillar. Um, that podium um, outwards, so towards him. Um, but yeah, um, when you get to man, there are there are a lot of um, takes on this. Oh, if I, and when you, I you wish I had this many notes. <laughs> <laughs> if, if and when you, you choose to, I'll layer this and then turn the spine off. Uh, put it in the display layer, do the same with the arms, do the same with the head, into the separate display layers, and then go up through the chain and uh, tidy um, each. Um, looking for arcs, looking for your spacing, just moving stuff out, looking at connection between the feet. Um, yeah, but it's it looks solid. Um, it's got weight. Um, it, I cannot imagine this not passing. Um, my yeah. only problem with this at the moment, which is a big, is a big it's... one, is I don't understand what's going on other than him looking confused. I understand it's a wizard, but I don't quite know what he's, um, what what kind of spell he's trying to do or, or why. That's that's the only thing I understand he's trying to cast a spell, but yeah, I don't. To me, there's a slight disconnect. I don't see what's hitting him as well. As soon as I see what's hitting him, that's going to help. Yeah, well, I mean, this is just gonna be like a tiny little explosion pop kind of thing. I mean, so Jared, Jared, what? Seth, and JP are all gonna put a pretty big stress on simple VFX, even if it's just in Maya. It doesn't have to be a game engine yeah. thing. It's just like some a cube, something that swells, a material that goes invisible, something that communicates the idea in Maya. Exactly. All you need is a sphere yeah. expanding. Uh, a little bit, like fast, just having this pop, this, this sphere just expanding and, and disappearing um, will be enough of an explosion. Um, so yeah, that can that can really help sell an impact somehow. Yeah, yeah. The last guy uh, uh, let me know to do that, so I'll be putting in like a little all thing that'll expand at least for the second one first one's just gonna be like maybe like a tiny piff or something but <laughs> there's a free maya vfx pack 
Matt, that we got a while ago, and I can't remember what it's called. Do you know where that was? Uh, I would dig for it. I think I know where I can find it. Because I've used that in, like, all of my classes so far. It works great. Or maybe not all. Ooh. I think, yeah, in, in Pipeline and now in the Cinematics course. I'm also wondering about the... Uh... Probably said it in your, in your notes. The defeat on one seven four, one seven five, and then when they open back out afterwards, because they both slide together. Um, uh, behind oh, that. Actually, but either way, sorry. All, I, to, I all together. It Go on. Oh, you have it. Yeah, I'll, I'll just send it to you right now, Henry. I hope Discord will take okay, a file cool. this big. Probably not, but we'll see. Yeah, it's only. I'm, I'm it's, trying to. It's tiny. It's only four megs. Oh, then this should be fine. Yeah. It's in a really you solid place. Um, you. Yeah, really, really, really solid place. Thanks. That's always nice to know. <laughs> I'm getting finicky with Dark Sorceress's fingers here. I should. I. This fucking side shot, it caused me so many problems for like weeks and now I'm just continuing to avoid it because just looking at it makes me hurt. Well, there's a lot of little things in here, isn't there? Yep. Yeah. It's a pretty good pack. <clears throat> Neato. I will give it a look-see later. Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. Oof, all right, I'm gonna have to do different things with those finger curls. Like, prob yeah, I think adding finger curls right now to this is on a layer is going to cause problems because it's going to fight with the curls underneath. But I know what I want to do. With the why, why are you. Why are you adding finger? This is Henry's shot, yeah? You're talking I'm about talking myself. Curls. I'm streaming. I have Twitch. I need to talk about my own shot. Cool. So, <laughs> this isn't Henry. This isn't Henry's you're talking about. No, no I, I, I went back cool. to my own stuff. <clears throat> cool. I'm going to take it. Why the hell are you doing fingers? <laughs> like, yeah. Um. Cool. Um, how much are you adding this, Henry? How much are you? How much more are you adding this? Is this a complete shot? Are you polishing this now, or what? No. Uh, I'm trying to address the notes at the moment, and then uh, hopefully I can add in the last couple seconds where he kind of uh, stomps on his uh, wand and then turns himself into a lizard. Cool. So, um, oh, what day is it? Monday. Yeah. Um, Go to, Scott, go to Scott Guppy's class this evening. I would love to if I'm not getting reviewed today. Cool. I think Scott's on at 11 p.m., which is what? Uh, where you are is probably... Yeah, but I have, I, have class, I have class at 7. So... Yeah, we'll so see. If you can, Scott's freaking amazing for polish. So Scott would tear into this, I mean... like... He'll be in. He'll be getting reviewed by his teacher at that time, anyway. Yeah. If, that, if that, I am getting reviewed, if I get, if I do get reviewed, I uh, of course I need to stay. But if, but since it's mostly like four people per day, if I'm not part of the four, I can leave a little early and, cool. and go and get some more feedback. But I have other places to see. I mean, I I checked up. Uh, Scott's seen it, so he'll he can definitely help but as of right now i'm kind of like uh i'd rather try to block out even more stuff or not block out spline out more stuff so we will have to see what happens absolutely and if he does if you don't see him tonight make sure you see him we'll try to see him next monday uh scott is fantastic for parties like, i um, mean i i the next monday is the last class and it'll be due at that yeah, point but, but, yeah, but you can still polish just with, between classes, and this is going to be in a demo reel for the next one, two, three years. 
Um, so, as I said, he's just kicks ass at polish. If you if you've got the strength to do more once you've got your grade between the, now and the next class, um, Scott Guppy's freaking amazing for this. Um, if you haven't, because it's been 11 weeks and bleh, it's how I usually feel after that time, um, then don't, but he is freaking amazing. Mm-hmm. So, like, don't stress too much about it. <laughs> if you just want to be done with it, then just be done with it and move on. Exactly. It's in a good place, I reckon you'll pass. Um, I'm just thinking, demo real wise, getting up on your demo real, make it look as good as it can be. Um, yeah. It could be great. But I, I cannot imagine you not passing. Um, there's a lot of, even though I need to see the other elements that I added to this, um, yeah, it's, <clears throat> the, the poses are, are fun appealing there's weight behind this um yeah yeah oh i mean like most pretty much all of this was done in a week at this point like all the splitting before this it was all still like stepped blocking so for me i'm pretty happy with how far i've gotten absolutely so, so you should be for now we will see but i yeah as of right now, just definitely trying to go as far as I can. Oh. Yeah. Um, feedback. Sweet. Um, once, this, once you've got the best done, um, yeah, whenever you have to, anyone might be or brave enough to, uh, to say anything, I'm happy, I'm happy to say a few thoughts, but as I said, it's, when you said you were worried about not passing, and then I saw this, I'm surprised that you worried. Very, very surprised. It's in a solid spot. Yay! That's a good thing to hear. Yeah, in animation, I mean, with any kind of art, you're usually critical of yourself way more than anything else. <clears throat> um, I always feel yeah. like I'm critically behind in everything, even though I've had three classes where I tend to be ahead of most people. I'm like, I didn't do enough work for the <laughs> whole class. JP, uh, during our one-on-one, he's like, you tend to work pretty fast, and I'm like, I know that's true because I've been told it for six years, but I don't believe you. I don't believe <laughs> you. <laughs> Prove it. <laughs> I remember the deep dark day with my Hobbit shot. I think I've said before, I was so, I was crushed that everyone had an amazing idea, and I just suck. I only had a part parkour piece and I had to have a mate cheer me up once it was done I'm like why is everyone's piece is like 20 25 seconds long and I've got 16 I suck like yeah um but yeah it also you'll get told a few nice things as well along the way that hopefully we should drop at the same time but it's a roller coaster between looking at, having to look at your demo a million times and uh sometimes <laughs> seeing the mistakes and going can I go back into this shot? And I'm not, I don't know. Um, yeah. Right. But this is looking solid. Thank you. Much appreciated. Whoa. Jesus. What happened? You can hear a siren. Yeah, it's yeah. incredibly it loud. It's I didn't do alarms. it. Run! It, it, to me, it sounds quiet, but I can't believe how 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 much this mic picks up. Could I just rustle rustle something last week? And you guys were like, "Steve, what are you doing?" I'm like, "How are you hearing that?" So um, yeah. yeah, Discord has uh, sensitivity settings. You can tweak it a little bit if that if that's. <laughs> I don't know if that would turn out tune out a siren because that was louder than your voice to us. Really? To me, maybe because I've got he headphones on. I thought it was really, really quiet. Um, yeah. But you might be able to tweak it to deal with stuff like background. Like, not a siren, but other background noises like twiddling or crinkling or something like that. No. 
Do 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 it. Thank you. She's also got a weird little head wiggle in here that I'm just noticing now. As I said, once yeah. once you put your other stuff, um, go through with go through with a layering pass. If you're not already, chuck the body parts into display layers, and it will help you look at one body part at a time, and mm. it will help you spot stuff by only. Because then instead of looking at the whole picture, you're only looking at the pelvis and the legs. So yeah, yeah you you look at less and it really does help focus. Oh, that's kind of I was doing it to how, the point how I work through every shot yeah. honestly when I go into spline is like I with these characters you can't necessarily turn off individual parts because they're game meshes cuz they're kind of built as one but you can kind of mentally block it out and just like do a pass on yeah. the spine do a uh, a pass on the hips do a pass on the legs do a pass on the spine just smooth out the curves decide what's actually helping and what's unnecessary noise knowing that any unnecessary noise is going to propagate up the chain and cause weird wiggles in your head and your hands and stuff. Right. I don't know if it's like destroying dirt and no like human dirt and noise and then putting it back again, but my flow tends to be like it kind of get rid of anything that doesn't look like it's really contributing make all the arcs and everything feel good, and then I can add more noise in with layers at the end. Like, once it's all controlled. Mm -hmm. with, with proper arcs. Well, <coughs> unless you're working on VFX, what is, what is noise? Um, you call it texture, just, but... Yeah, same thing. Noise, dirt, texture. It's just like little, little jitters or little un... un not unnatural, but like odd-looking movements in the curves absolutely but what i mean is in vfx it takes into account things like um air resistance or wind etc yeah i'm, I'm just talking um, about character animation not vfx exactly if you go into cart more cartoony then because how much meaning can go into um even a, a single rotation uh it's not so much noise, I wouldn't say, but meaningful um, texture. So it could be a head rotation is there because it's it's making it more of a specific uh, gesture. Otherwise, if there's noise within that, then it becomes a, a feature. I don't think it, it's, it's the same. It might be different for games, uh, especially those who are like soldier based, etc. But I don't think the feature um, I think that's why it differs from the effects and feature is that additional noise. I don't know what you're talking about. Like, I am, I did not make the connection from what I said to what you were saying. So you said about the noise being into the animation. Um, the VFX, that's very important uh, because the audience want to feel aware, feel this thing's part of, of a real world where mm -hmm. there's as I said, this wind, air resistance, etc., and things are not perfect. In feature animation, though, I don't think noise is in the animation. Um, it's more meaningful uh, texture, and each rotation is adding something. Okay, well, unless then, it's like it's, it's, it's just a different term, because that's what I meant. Like when I cool. say noise, that's what I'm. It, I mean anything that's not just a clean curve. Like, you look at the, like, when, when I look at my curves right here, a bunch of these aren't clean curves. Everything is doing something that I intend it to do, but, like, all of these weird little jiggles and, like, stuff that... Anything that is, like, breaking a nice mathematical, like, smooth curve between two points, noise, dirt, texture, whatever you want to call it, it all means the same thing. Absolutely, but what I'm saying in, the, in VFX... It could be random and be explained by um, the deficiencies that are in the real world. Um, in feature, they would have, those would be removed. Um, they have a much more clean, that, much more simplification. I, I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Because, like, 
No, I don't think they are. I don't, especially if anything is done with mocap. That stuff isn't just immediately removed. It's like, it's all, it's all intentional. Well, actually not, not even so. Some stuff is left in, which is not intentional. But like, people look at it and they decide what needs cleaning up, but it's not like everything in there has been hand placed. They're just deciding whether or not to clean it or what to do about it. And I'm saying with my workflow, with the way that and this, this is what I was talking about at the start, all of that kind of stuff when I'm going through my first blind pass is like, I'll usually get rid of it. Like any, if it communicates well in blocking, it's like, cool, it communicates well in blocking. But when you go to spline, stuff doesn't translate the same way. So you go through, you're like, do I really need, like maybe the the spine, the hips are moving one way and the spine is counter rotating. And in all, th all of those curves, it just makes one of these little dips. And I'm like, well, I don't really need that here. So if I delete the dip in all of them, her body's in the same place, but I've now eliminated a weird wiggle. And then once all the arcs make sense, at the end, I'll go back and I'll add stuff like that back in where it looks too spliny. And some people may not do that. It's like workflows are very, very custom. All I was like individual to each person. Absolutely. But I think it's also a style choice. Um, yeah, I would say style comes into it. Um, you, th you mentioned mocap, um, the top features, so Disney, DreamWorks, or the, the what comes to me when I think about feature is Disney, DreamWorks, Pixar, etc. Um, that stuff wouldn't go in there. Um, unlike with a VFX movie, where that stuff needs to be in there because of how unperfect the world is. Now, VFX use mocap, um, games use mocap, um, and again, it all adds to the feeling and the style choices that are happening. Sometimes you sometimes you use a mocap because um, it's faster to produce it, um, and therefore you haven't got the time to clean everything, even though you might do it at the first pass. Uh, I said you're choosing to add it later, but I think style very much comes into it, whether you're creating it for feature, VFX, or games. The additional noise um, is a style choice. Sure. Do yeah, that make sense? Oh, geez, fourteen viewers. Where are all these people coming from this morning? Hello, Twitch people. But then. On top of that, you've also got films like How to Train Your Dragon with Dragon Flight, etc., uh, where that flight might be needed to go in there for more realistic features. Um, yeah. Good movie. down there. Oh, is that not changing here? Is that keyframe? Huh. Alright, I guess the base of the fingers aren't moving at all. That's a little weird. Should probably have them bend in a bit. Right, I'm off to kill some people. How dare. Awesome. Cool. <gasps> yeah. See you later. Have fun.
Have you fun. found what? I said have fun. I thought that you found one. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like what? So uh, yeah, I need to. I need to get my daily dose of overwatching. So uh, nice for sure. <laughs> Um, one quick question. You, you guys have survived the games for years. Do you get toxic sometimes when you're playing like in a mode and the character that should actually be doing something mm -hmm. isn't? Yesterday I had a Mercy, who for no reason whatsoever, was just standing and hiding me on a corner. Um, and this is when the whole other team was dead. And you're like, help me please, just help me. No. And she runs off in the, in the other direction. I'm like, yeah, I, I'm I'm scared I get toxic sometimes. So, um, <laughs> or whether that's part, yeah, have it happened to us all? No, well, I don't play competitively for Overwatch, so yeah, I don't I... really care. So. Yeah, to play competitively because I know I'm a bad player, and some people are sexist. <laughs> yeah, uh, not that is true. You, you do yeah. you you get a. A bit of everything, don't you? <laughs> I just, yeah. I just really don't enjoy uh, people getting other people getting that serious. I liked Overwatch right up until the point when they banned duplicate players in ge in general play, catering to I don't know competitive people, and everybody I, I knew defended it. And I'm like, this was part of the game's design, and it's goofy fun, and. Now Blizzard wants to make it into an eSport, so they're removing all the goofy fun, so everybody's getting way too serious. So, I'm a bail. <laughs> I'm go to some <laughs> other game where I can actually have fun. Mm. Totally, but there's, like, have, there's not anything that bothers you in the game. Oh, the play doesn't do any. No, I... In, like, yeah, and you're like in, in Overwatch? Yeah. Uh... You are such nice people. <laughs> it doesn't really bother well because well, I because I'm not playing it to be competitive. If people want to goof around yeah. and have fun, like well, I'm playing it to have to goof around and have fun. And if we win, it's... then cool, we win. If I wanted to be super serious about it, I'd be a competitive player, and I'm not. Yeah, I think but... I'm just generally competitive. Um, uh, like for something like Overwatch, definitely not. I'm just kind of like. I don't know, to me, I'm just kind of like, it's a fun game, and I'm just going to play it for fun. And if someone's upset that we're losing in quick play, then they can go and go to competitive, because that's what competitive is for. That's part of why it drew, what drove me away, though, is that all the serious people were using quick play as serious practice. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, yes. But I mean, like... That's, that's why I play my play. I play it quick play. But... Yeah, so I don't... No, I don't really care too much in Overwatch. Other... Like, I don't know, for me, I guess I'm a little more... I don't get ups necessarily upset, but I can't... I'll get annoyed at my teammates in, like, competitive Halo, because that's kind of where... That's, <laughs> that's a game where it's, like, everything's even, so if you aren't doing what you're supposed to be doing, you are, in fact, like, ruining the team dynamic kind of thing because it, it's very clearly like you're working against us but i don't know i i didn't bother with overwatch because then there's too many people being like hey heal me do this do that or you you're being awful switch to this other character i'll be this character instead and it's just like yeah it's too much of that i think there's a line if somebody is doing something so damn Stupid. Um, like as I said yesterday, I saw a Mercy character who was just standing, hiding, and not moving for ages despite everyone being dead. And there's people around that needed healing. And like, so maybe they were away from uh, the screen for something. Like, that's... somebody has put down their controller, um, and the character is just standing. Somebody's obviously put down their controller and gone for a cup of tea or beer or something, and the whole team's dying. You're like, yeah. yeah. Um, don't bother me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I just don't play competitive. I just don't play competitive Overwatch, so I, just, I don't really. Do you guys yeah. know what? 
It's happening. Yeah. People, people, people are there to have fun. If they want to look away, cool. It's their life. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know what the game drafts is? It's similar. It played on the chessboard, but you've got like circular discs that can only move diagonally. Do you know the game? No. no. Um, is it a Chinese think, game? I think it's British or uh, or American. Wait, so or wait, it's European. it's like checkers, where it's you have it's not like chess pieces or circles that you can only move diagonally. Yeah, it might, yeah, be, called, right. it might be called checkers. Yeah, it's, it's called checkers. Places. Oh, I didn't yeah, know there was another word for checkers. I didn't know that either. Oh, My mama okay. taught me it when I was growing up, and um, she was always she would almost always punch me that if I didn't take one of her pieces, she would uh, she would take mine and say that it's my fault for not learning the rules. So, my grandma must be seventy five to eighty now. Like two Christmases ago, I bought a checkers set for Christmas. I played about it. And then she didn't see one of my. She didn't see she could take one of my memes. So I took six of hers and destroyed them within that minute. And then she didn't want to play with me again. I'm like, well, nice. If this was when I was younger, you would have destroyed me. She's like, no, I'm gonna play. So right. loser. Yeah. I mean, over I would here, even I, destroy I, my. I, I don't know if it's just a rules thing, but like the way that I learn checkers and a bunch of people learn checkers is that you have to kill. Like, if you can take a mo take a piece, you have to. You, you, you do. And if you don't see it, if you don't see that you could have taken that piece, that piece gets removed from the board. Sure, okay. Um, so I was playing my grandmother, and even against my grandmother, I'm like, I'm not backing down here. This is this is war. You play me again. We are going, like, I'm going for the victory here. So, um... I think yeah. you I also paid my grandfather aggression problems. You want to take it out on your poor old grandma? Like the fuck? <laughs> she she <laughs> took it out on me when I was younger. Like she she and was done the same. Time for me payback. <laughs> it was. I waited till she was a lot older, and uh, I waited yeah, until maybe... she was old and frail to make my deciding move. <laughs> yeah, it's patient. It's like in in you watch some movies. And patience is like a key factor of victory. I don't know. You wait That's for your move and you strike. You're not, uh, you're not making the greatest of cases for yourself here. <laughs> but yeah, the, the, that the case I was making is um, I'm a little bit competitive. So um, mm. I think I think I was able to pick that up when you got mad at someone for uh, in Overwatch. There's a little bit of a competitive streak in you. Yeah, just a little bit. You should <laughs> so, you should play with Cal. I think you guys would get along nicely in Overwatch. Who's <laughs> Cal? Uh, we. Uh, I think last time, well, at least last time you, I spoke to you, uh, we were all playing Overwatch, cool. and he was like the one that was like asking you to constantly give over the party leader thing. I shut that out. Yeah, that was right. Like, I don't know what's <laughs> going on. So uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Cal's one of those guys? Give me the I don't know. Give me leader. Give me party leader. Well, technically he was party leader to begin with, and then uh, and then something happened where he got booted, and then... Okay, but uh, then why does he still care? I don't know. <laughs> no idea. That's what I mean. Because it's Cal. Because he was he's he was leaving and he wanted uh, wanted to, us to play the, ga the right game and stuff. If he wanted to play, yeah. Uh... Well, as I said, I'm off to kill people, so well, have a good night, guys. Well, have a pleasant have evening. Fun. Have fun. It's... I will. As long as the other people die. So, well, uh, yeah, have fun yes. murdering, okay. Yes. Find, find, a, find an enemy team... Don't find an enemy yourself. team filled, of, filled with grandmas, and it'll be good. <laughs> Angry grandmas. Well, it used to be the opposite. It used to be, like, little kids would... Uh, the worst game I've ever played was when I was starting, and you had two like seven. It sounded like they were seven. We're like, this dude is so bad. Let's watch his and spectate from these other games. And I'm like, okay, sucks. So uh, anyway, it's the last time I listen into uh, listen into Overwatch. Yep. They, uh, yeah. I uh, I don't go into the I don't go in like to those cons or like the voice chat or whatever for Overwatch. Mm. Yeah. I just pretend that everyone likes me, and then I like everyone else. 
I, I just only play in voice Aww. when I have friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I thought, yeah. Yeah. I mainly play with friends. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's half past two in the morning. What the uh, hell are you still doing up? Uh, Working. Some late night sculpting. Grindstone. <laughs> when I do you should, sleep? Should, uh, I should sleep soon. Uh, I am I'm not saying go for them going, working. but like, yeah. What are you doing? I know. Ah. It's I I I don't have to wake up for anything. Um, Burn that like, midnight I, oil. Because I'm. I I'm, yeah. uh, I'm having a gap year, so basically I don't have any work. I don't have any school. Um, so and that's the, why yeah. my sleep schedule is messed up. And the lads are pretty fun, so uh, yeah. Yeah, it's nice to chill with you guys. Definitely. Like, I found when I was studying nice all my mates with American. you as well. And, uh, yeah. It's cool. Um, sweet. Well, um, good luck with your sculpting. Um, Thank you. Have me kick ass, mate. Your work's looking incredible. Thank Matt, you. good luck. Thank you. for you. And, uh, yeah. I thought about what around. you said. You DM'd me, you're like, hey, it happens in a blink of an eye. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh, well, potential job opportunity right there in the blink of an eye. He was right. <laughs> exactly. You know, like, it's never going to happen. Why do people don't like me? Oh, I've got a job. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then it becomes easier and easier. Um, yeah. Yeah. It took me forever to get my first job, but then it gets easier. So, um, cool. I guess I can confirm Enjoy. that. Enjoy. Now that I'm in jobs, it's. I, I, I don't want to say it's easy and sound like I'm bragging, but, like, my first one was the hardest to find in Japan, too. Yeah. And then once you're in, you know people. And you've got a yeah. reputation. And it's like, hey, you know anybody? You know any jobs? Put in a war for me. <laughs> Give me a yeah. heads up. Definitely. As long as you uh, pay it forward to the next people who, who need a hand. Exactly. Or destroy them! No, don't! This is it's oh, people's okay. livelihoods. Don't kill people. <laughs> it's like, yeah, sorry, it's just the voices. It's, um, yeah. What Ooh. is up with, like, random... Oh, well, not random people, but just, like, people trying to follow you on LinkedIn? Oh, I have, like, care. lots of people from, like, my school that I never talk to being like, let's connect, and I'm like, why? Because, I don't, don't, don't worry people. about it. Because huh? there's a lot of people that seem to think, have the idea in their head that the more connections that they have, the better outreach they have, which <laughs> is right. dumb. I mean, because like it, it, yeah, it makes sense, but you but it's, like it's, if you have a la large cloud of people within the area that you're trying to go for, that makes sense. But if you're just adding random people just to add yeah. random people, here's the thing. It's the wrong way to go used, about it. No, it used, I used to think that too. Then I was uh then, then I talked to somebody who like he's basically a professional like job hunter. In this, he's, he's a game designer, but he also like helps a lot of people find jobs and resumes and stuff. And he told he, he explained this in a way that made sense to me. It's like there's no negative to accepting people on LinkedIn, absolutely none. And like whether or not anybody else thinks logically about it, like sorry, scratch that. Nobody thinks logically. A very small amount of people think logically about that. So if somebody sees on LinkedIn like this person is a second connection. Even if it's completely random, it doesn't matter. They think they're closer to you. It literally does bring you closer to potential opportunities and people. So, yeah. why It's the, it's not? the messaging side of things. Um, that so, bother. So, so I, I don't accept literally everybody, and I don't send out blind invites either. But if it's somebody that looks like they're in my field, or somebody that's, like, connected to somebody in my field, sure, what's the harm? Accept it. Doesn't matter. Uh, you cut out for me just the last part. Sorry. <laughs> if it's somebody that's in my field or close to somebody in my field, what's the harm? Sure, just accept it. Okay. And then you destroy them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And it's a messaging uh, sometimes, which. Um, so it's absolutely. If you've got the discipline enough to ignore messages from people that you don't want to 
um, hear the messages from, then accept them. Um, you can also delete that person afterwards. Um, but yeah, I've, I accept a lot of people and if, if some I don't. But it also, if in terms of um, the benefit of that, accepting them, um, if you like their work or they like yours, as in tick like, then the connections that you have and the connections that they have, that like appears in your news feed. It's true. Yeah, um, so, so I now at this point, I I found a new job by somebody. Actually, here's, here's the thing. A couple things now. From one of my anim school reels I put up, I got uh, Jason Shum decided to follow me and he's like kind of a well-known name in game animation, I believe. I've seen him on a lot of anim state stuff. So now, yeah, his now, official, dude. now he'll see yeah. anything that I post or anything that I like or I'll see stuff that he likes. Cool. That's a connection. I got my new job yeah. because the dude from my new studio sent me a connection request. He's like, I think he's connected to Anim School somehow. I didn't know that at the time. It's just a game designer from some random company. Sent me an invite. Sure, take it. Three days later, I saw him put up a job posting and applied to it. And now I have a job. Oh, that is really cool. Yeah. So like, even and then you destroyed him <laughs> in a game of checkers. So even even yes. if people's weird lizard brain intention is to just see their followers or their links go higher, like on LinkedIn, because it's pro more professional. It's not a bunch of people just being conservative or sorry, not being just political dummies or posting food pics. There's like no downside. I post you also have the benefit of un you can add them as a friend but unfollow them so that if you don't want to see what they're posting you can always unfollow them in the news feed and therefore you don't see any of their posts um that's another benefit it's just as i said if they're contacting you being a nuisance on uh if you're messaging that's probably where um the line gets drawn and then you can always delete them at that stage um i am more selective than by any but um over who I add, um, but then at the same time, I'm impressed by the sort of you just said, so I might change my mind. Um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's just like I have, I have like a lot of like classmates that, or well, not classmates, just like people in my year that I never talked to who also aren't gonna do anything remotely close to their, like <laughs> animation or games. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I'm just, I'm just be like. Ugh. Uh, it's also going to be the trendy thing to do at the age of 18, 19, is you're making your first contacts. Um, yeah, yeah. That might add into it. Um, but if you don't like the person, that's the other thing. If you, if you don't like that person, <laughs> you don't add them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's um, happening here? I welcome. hit FK keeps destroying my pose. Challenge them to a game of checkers. I apologize <laughs> on Rigger's behalf. I mean, it has worked before. It's just this, <laughs> this goddamn side pose. I swear to fuck, <laughs> it's causing me more problems. Did you go for the shoulder pads in the end? Did you not go for them? Yeah, what they're was on. The, uh, what was that deciding? Oh, it, because uh, the the place where they looked like like it added a lot to the first shot, and then uh, where this the second shot where they were causing problems in Unreal. That's all in like heavy shadow, anyways. So. Oh. I can make it, I could just make it so that it's not obviously clicking, not obviously clipping her very light colored face, and then nobody's gonna see the rest. Yeah. Because this, yeah. this shot, this shot's a cinematic. A lot of it depends on the Unreal VFX. I'm not gonna put up the Maya version of this. I'm just putting in the Unreal Definitely. one. Yeah. And those shapes, uh, those shapes, if they're hidden, those shapes can also add to the uh, silhouette of the shadow. Um, so yeah. Yeah, they, they just added so much to the first shot. They give a really good feeling of like those those big imposing like shoulders being up. Definitely. Alright, I'm gonna reopen Maya here because I want to see if this FK to IK thing is truly borked or if it's just a cash thing. Yeah, I hate when some bigs don't do it. What? 
Bye. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs>